And Reggie, tell us a little bit about what you were doing out here one day and how you came upon the, the, these civilians. Well, the truth of the matter is my wife is an artist and she paints, a professional artist, and she was painting the house, the home where this came from, and met the owner and he said, and she said, well, he's metal detecting because I do metal detect as a hobby and it's quite a expensive hobby, but it's a great hobby. Anyway, she got permission for me to come and uh, come and help and see what I could find. And I got the homeowner and we went around and got to the best spot, which is under a clothesline, and we found the silver wings. And when you found them, what, what, did, you, what did you think when you found them? When you first well, I was very excited. It was great. I mean, I knew exactly what they were when I got partial out of the ground. Uh, I could tell that they were just significant mine. So I don't find a lot of them. Really nice. And how are you guys able to find where they belong? Take me through that process. The homeowner is quite a historian, and he studies history in this Van Alstine area, which is pretty neat. I'm totally unfamiliar with it. We just happened to come up here on a freelance kind of a hunt and paint, and he has done all the all the work to find out where they belong. And when you got to find, or were you part of giving them to the owner, back to the owner? Well, I, when, I, when I hunt a property like this, I tell the homeowners that whatever I find, they get to keep. All I want to do is take a picture of it. It's for, I'm in a group and we like to brag about what we find, so I don't have a problem leaving. If it was a, let's say it's a mason jar full of silver dollars or $20 gold pieces, I don't, I don't get to keep it. I mean, that'd be nice to give me one of them, but so I leave it with the owner and what he does with it then, that's his business. But it's part of the history of the property and the historical part is a great thing to leave it with him or him to do with as he pleases. And he has looked up the original owners of the wings. And talk to me a little bit about why do you do this? Why do you come out and see Well, I, I was a professional golfer for most of my life and I quit. And I do it because I've always been into archaeology and history, and I just love doing it as a hobby. It is a great hobby. We go all over the world, honey, uh, and we found some really great stuff. I mean, it's, it is a fun hobby, and you never know what you're going to pick up. Are the silver wings probably one of your favorite things? It's, yeah, honestly, it's probably one of the top five or six of my all time finds. I found some great stuff. Uh, just the fact that we have found the the owners and, and how far they go back and the, 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 just for the family I mean to give these to the original family is just very exciting when did you find them again uh, three months ago uh, it was last summer it was very hot and uh, it was in the afternoon and it was on a Sunday afternoon actually right under the clothes